Hey everybody, Keith Sarlos coming to you live and direct from Windmill Ranch on Ballard Canyon, the most photographed vineyard in Santa Barbara County, bar none. I am so proud of this place. When I was thinking about this allocation, we are featuring every single wine we grow here. This is where it all started. I realized we reached a milestone, a big one. We have now been farming for 25 years. We have been making wine for 20 and our tasting room has been open for 15. Some people, this is uh, your 15th year of being in our family and I am grateful for you for supporting my family for 15 years because without you, we can't do this. Some people, this is their very first shipment. So in honor of the 25th year, the 20th year of making wine and the 15 years the tasting room has been open, I thought I'd bring it back to the very, very beginning. You see, this place was not this place when we first started. This had 17,000 Fuji apple trees. We farmed those Fuji apple trees for a full year. We had them all sold. And when we went to go deliver them, uh, we got turned away at the dock. Uh, they said uh, no and threw it back on. We brought all of those apples back here, pushed them onto the ground and watched cattle eat them. Basically watched the dream turn in to a nightmare. But that did not deter Larry Sarlos. Larry Sarlos was gonna be a farmer. So we tore all of those apple trees out. We talked to one vineyard and said, if we planted fruit, would you buy from us? And they said, yes. And we planted 100% Syrah on Ballard Canyon. Fast forward a little bit, Ballard Canyon is 100% known for Syrah. We have an unbelievable neighborhood. So we happened to plant the right thing in the right place uh, without really knowing it. Fast forward a little bit forward. We farmed those apples and we were selling our fruit to other people. I always think of it like this. We were writing songs and other artists were performing our song. Fast forward a little bit more. My wife and I moved here full time uh, to raise our children, to raise our one daughter. Then Cash Sarlos came along and what we were doing wasn't, we weren't making it. We weren't gonna be able to survive here. And that impetus pushed us into starting Sarlos and Sons, to buying our fruit and making our wines. And we had a tremendous amount of help from this wine community showing us the ropes because I have no business doing this. I, I didn't go to school for this. Uh, it was just taking what we had and pushing it forward taking my father's dream and pushing it forward to feed our kids. So what you see behind you is a product of failure. It's a product of, of following your father's dream and pushing it forward at every turn. It's been incredibly hard. I, I didn't know what it was gonna be like to give your life over to something. And here I am 25 years later, I have given my entire life to this. And I think the wines that you're gonna receive in this shipment are personification of that. I couldn't be more proud. Let's talk about the very first wine. It's actually not in your shipment, but it is the culmination, the collection of what we do here. And that wine is called Big Lair. Big Lair is 100% Syrah. And on the label is my father standing right up there, looking this direction over his dream. It's our very, very first harvest. It is my dad seeing that we can actually do this. We can make a run at it. We can turn something that was a failure into an opportunity. And I remember taking that photo with an Instamatic zip, zip, click camera and uh, getting it developed and throwing it in a drawer. And this wine represents that dream. That is not in your shipment. That is in the tasting room only and sold online but there are two other wines that will be in your shipment. The first one is called Barn Burner. And on the Barn Burner, you see a picture of my brother. It's another Syrah. It comes from the terrace right behind this one. High hill, there's only a few rows. 
it, it, you have to actually back the tractor up the hill to get the fruit. It's an incredibly difficult place to farm, but it creates unbelievable fruit. The second Syrah in that shipment is called Man on Fire. And since I put the picture of my brother on a label, he said I have to be on a label too. So for our 25th anniversary of farming, I put my face on a label begrudgingly, and that wine is already completely sold out. Man on Fire, Barn Burner, and Big Lair are all Syrahs. They are the, that is the very first fruit we have ever planted. That is what you see behind me. That is what we grow. That's where we cut our teeth on. That's what made the dream a reality. And each one of those Syrahs genetically is identical. Genetically identical. The, it's the same clone on, from here, which we call our high hill, the Fat Man Terrace and the Little Boy Terrace. Exactly the same fruit, same DNA. But because of the topography, because of this hillside, because of this row that you can see just drains down all the way to the bottom, to get the fruit that's ripe at the bottom there and the ripe at the top here is incredibly difficult to do at the same time. You kind of have to play the lie. Then when you get into this hillside, you got all of this draining in different directions and the sunlight hits it later in the afternoon, but the sun hits here first thing. On the Little Boy Terrace, it's blocked by this hillside, it's blocked from the wind, and it is incredibly steep. It's incredibly difficult to farm. Each one of those wines tastes totally different from each other. They are individuals, but they are come from the same stock. So when I think of my father, and then I think of my brother and I, very, very similar. My dad had two dreams. One was to do this, and the other was to be a professional baseball player. My brother chose professional baseball, and I chose this. So when you think of these two wines, it's two sons living out their father's dreams that have now become theirs. The personality is the same, the moral is the same, our compass points in the same direction, but even our stock is the same, but three totally different and unique personalities. I love these wines. I love opening them in kind of a, a concert to see the differences between them. They're all beautiful in their own way, but they are absolutely individual. That term in France is called terroir. It means sense of place. It means this wine tastes like it's from here. That wine tastes like it's from there. And the little boy tastes like it's from there. It's not blended together. It's not hidden. It is individual and loud. And those are your first three wines. The second wine in this shipment comes from right over this hill. It's right where this Syrah touches now our Grenache. And on that label, you'll see a boy by son, who I am so proud of at 15. That Grenache used to be Syrah. Then we had a freeze that went through this whole canyon and we lost our entire crop, 20% of everything we grow in one night. We had a decision to make. We were selling fruit to other people. We called them and said, hey, if we had two varietals, would you buy that from us? And they said, yeah, absolutely. So we went in. We took that stock, that root that you see behind us, and we made this little slit in it, a little T. We scooped out a bud from a Grenache vine and slid it in and tied it tight. That way, when the sap comes up through the bottom, it hits that varietal, pushes it out, and it grows a brand new fruit. Grenache from Ballard Canyon. I see my son. My son, it came from the root stock of a Syrah, these hills, and now has its brand new fruit on that vine. Ballard Canyon is known for Syrah and Grenache, 100%. This is what we grow here. It's the perfect place to grow it, just like bringing my kids here was the perfect place to raise them. Syrah and Grenache, the father and the son, share two rows side by side. The Grenache is here because of the father, because of the first vine we planted, but in a new personality, in a new direction. There's another wine that's coming in another shipment, which is called Mischief. And then has a picture of Brady Sarlos on it, and it's from the other vineyard. It's the exact same fruit stock, grown in the same valley, two miles away from each other, two distinct and totally different personalities, just like Cash growing up here in Southern California and Brady growing up in Texas. The same person, the same stock, two different, totally different personalities, 
and the wines taste totally different. Our final wine comes from right there and it is Petit Verdot and it is called Gunslinger. Petit Verdot is a phenomenal grape. It is usually hidden. It is usually blended into a wine to give it strength and give it color and give it flavor and give it taste. But I love Petit Verdot. And when we had the opportunity to graft, just like cutting in and putting that butt in, this hillside gets the very first light from the sun coming up and hitting it directly. And we can get it beautifully ripe. Petit Verdot is usually quite, quite a big, massive, scary wine. We had a tasting with our, all of the staff the other day. We popped a bottle of it and it blew literally everyone else's minds. Everyone tasted it and they loved it. it. It is not big and scary. It is a kid with a pop gun. So that photo of Cash Sarlos that's taken on that label was taken at the Santa, Bar Santa Barbara Fiesta. My, uh, my whole family went down to watch my dad and my mom compete. And my son brought his little pistols, shooting them up in the air every time grandpa and grandma did great. And I love that photo of him because it, I can see the man he's going to become. You can see that little boy, that little approachable, beautiful kid growing up that you can see on Mayhem. 25 years ago, we failed. 25 years ago, this was Fuji apple trees. And I think many, many times that if the fruit was great, if they would have accepted our fruit on that very first shipment, this would most likely still be Fuji apple trees. Twenty-five years is a long time to do anything. It's a noble profession, as my grandpa would say, to become a farmer. I am so grateful to each and every one of you that you have stuck with us for this last quarter of a century, that you have taken a, a huge risk on a very small family that has suffered failure and gotten up every single time and tried to do the very best thing it possibly can in the circumstances. So from Fuji apple trees, to our 20th vintage of wine and our 15th year of our tasting room being open where you've walked through the doors and said yes to us and allowed us to make wines that are from our heart for our family so that we can do one and one thing only so we can live to honor those that have come before us and to prepare the way for those yet to come i'm incredibly grateful that I've given my life to a noble profession. Thank you so much.